One would think that I would have everything put together before we decide to go live, but no, last minute everything around here because that's my life. So, let's give it a minute or two here so people can hop on. We are going to do that amazing dragon skin live that you guys are losing your minds over. I'm going to use different mica and different glitters tonight. Um, of course, I lost the sticker on this mica. It's a orangish to pink color shift. It does come from glitterinstyle.com. Got Reptar from Glitter Heart Co., it's a copper to blue to green color shift. And then we're also gonna use Dragon Vibes from It's Pretty Personal. So those are the three that's gonna go in our UV mix. Um, the only stuff that you're missing so far is matte black or flat black spray paint your cup. That's it. I did do two coats on it just to be on the safe side. we can get going um if you are hopping on late you're not catching this from the start that's fine i'm going to upload this exact video to youtube either later tonight or first thing tomorrow welcome uh the uv resin that i'm currently using is by mr resin hard type I'm just trying to get rid of it. There's nothing wrong with it, but my favorite epoxy company in the world, Tumblr Epoxy, has recently released their own UV epoxy. And I just need to get rid of this. Hi, Kjax48. Um, so I'm. this is on a 20 ounce straight AF from Mother Tumblr. I'll be sure to include links to all the items I'm using in the description of the YouTube video once I get it uploaded there. And I'm going to pour in more than I need for sure. So I've got about 20 milliliters of UV epoxy. Also, you're gonna need a cup with dish soap hot water and a straw in it. That is how we are getting these big bubbles. Look. Literally, that, that's it. We just blow giant bubbles with a straw, put it on the cup, done. Sorry, but since we're going to be uploading this to uh, YouTube later, I can't put any music in the background. They'll ding me on it. All right, so I'm just putting my color shift mica directly in here. Yes, it's going to go everywhere. Do I care? Also, no. Got the Reptar glitter. then Dragon Vibes from It's Pretty Personal. I'm just gonna mix them all together. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, if you tap the screen and send a bunch of hearts, it actually uh, throws it into live feed for other individuals who are scrolling and gets more eyes on all of our stuff. That goes for all creators. Look how pretty that is already. Can't like, and it's not gonna look the same here as once we get it on the black cup. And this is a process. 
Got to work quickly because of the UV light. Let me grab some coffee filters here so we can wipe the bubbles off. Once we're ready to. And this is another one of those trust the processes because it's going to like look like a hot mess once we get it all on there. And then I'll, I'll explain more as we go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's do this. Are we ready? Y'all. And I like the, the chunky look in this too, hidden in the scales. Um, this kind of looks like treasure and dragons love treasure. See it there. Get off of me and onto the cup. It's fine. Have a mixture of big bubbles and little bubbles. Move your little mixture away because you do not want to hit that with the light and you're going to do it in 60 second spurts with your UV light. So please ignore my dirty, filthy light while we cure this. Doo, doo, doo. Just move it around. It's a little bit easier on the smaller cups like the wine cups or coffee mug just because uh, you don't have to move around as much. Thank you for the follows and all the hearts. We are making a dragon skin tumbler. Dragon skin tumbler. <laughs> no, I won't wash my hands until I go back in. <laughs> all right, should be about done here. Check that out. Get you back into position here, and we can just keep rolling all the way around the cup. You can see the, the color change there. And your soap's gonna drip down the edge, that's fine. Just use your coffee filter. Dry it off before you move on with more epoxy. Why am I using coffee filters? Because they have no lint. And lint is your worst enemy with epoxy. A little bit of an overlap there. Make sure that our scales will connect. I do make a Jack Skellington. Also make sure that you don't drink your soapy water because <laughs> it just went in my mouth and that was disgusting. Um, this particular cup is actually for one of my author friends. Um, her name is Maya Nicole. And her current series that she's working on has a dragon shifter in it. It's like this is freaking perfect. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'm doing UV resin for this base. Tracy Orlinski. I really hope I said your name right. I'm sorry. Or Orlinski. I'm confident in that. Orlinski. Welcome, welcome. 
It's Wednesday, right? Happy Wednesday. But again, if you're watching the replay and watching this on not a Wednesday, welcome anyways. Um, Because if you are just now hopping on, this will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Uh, Hopefully tonight, if not first thing tomorrow, it's just youtube.com forward slash shop with Wilkins, just like uh, my username here for TikTok. That one is soaking wet. Moving on to the next. Right. Y'all loving it. I love the mixture of the big and the small bubbles too. Hang on, I need to yell for my husband real quick. Can you bring me the dish soap? I need more soap. I want big bubbles. Maybe somebody, anybody? I want bigger bubbles. Okay. Well, hang on. I'll just get it myself. Okay. Throw some more soap in there. Literally, I just have soap with water in a mug and a straw. You can do this technique on um, like epoxy pins, on trays, if you guys do resin trays. Possibilities are endless. Thank you for the follows. welcome. If you are just now jumping on, we are making a um, dragon skin tumbler. Okay, hang on. Let me finish curing this and I'll show you what I'm doing with the bubbles. Thank you for the hearts. See the bubbles popping. Totally fine. Candy. All right, so this it's literally a cup with water and dish soap in it and a straw. And yes, I'm using UV resin for this initial top layer design. Thank you for the rose. Just blow it with a straw. You can get different sized bubbles. And you can see it popping and what's that, guys? So maybe don't want this excess soap on here. That will repel the resin if it's wet. Or do this in two. Se- well, what do you think? I'm not gonna risk it. We're gonna do this in two more sections. No, screw it.
Thank you for the follows. Um, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Can you call your dad real quick and make sure it's okay with him? Because I'm actually in the middle of a live right now, babe. Okay. All right. Love you, bye. Child hanging out at a friend's house. This the night. Which our kids are already on fall or uh, summer break, so I don't really mind. But I don't know what my husband has claimed. Uh, what kind of mica? Um, so I would love to tell you the exact one that it is but the sticker apparently has come off at some point in time i got it from glitterinstyle.com and it is a orange to pink color shift um when i when we're done here on tiktok i'm going to upload this video to my youtube channel it's shop with wilkins forward slash shop with wilkins uh and i will put direct links to all of the products that I used in the video in the description of the YouTube. Uh, it's a UV light. It's curing the UV epoxy. Well, it's just a color shift. Um, they are technically, yes, chameleon micas, but I can't remember the exact name of this one. It's a pink to orange color shift, but it does come from glitterandstyle.com. That much I am confident of. All right, so there we have it all the way around. Let's see if we missed any spots or want to touch up anything. I am pretty dang happy with that. Now I'm going to do the bottom because you never forget the bottom of your cup. Yeah, this is not a cosmetic grade mica for sure. bubbles on the bottom. And that's that. Hi, sister. If you are just now hopping on, um, we have created a dragon skin tumbler and a matte black painted base. We have color shift micas. Um, it's an orange to pink color shift. We use the Reptar glitter from Glitter Heart Co. And Dragon Vibes from It's Pretty Personal. And then we just mix it directly with our UV resin, put it on in strips. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna be uploading it directly to my YouTube channel uh, either later tonight or first thing tomorrow. Thank you. Right, just wipe our bubbles off. All right, so you can hear, you can hear how rough it is. What I do here is uh my youtube it, it's youtube.com forward slash shop with wilkins just like my username here for tiktok i will do two coats of tumblr poxy 2.0 because it is nice and thick it is shiny shiny glass like finish on it and it has the highest uv protection rating that is available on the market in regards to epoxies so I'll do two coats of that and then I'll sand it with a 220 um, sandpaper and another coat of the Tumblr Poxy 2.0. Um, and I will do that until it is smooth. 
let me pop you off the stand here this is on its last coat i believe i did four coats on top of it um because i was planning on putting a graphic on this and then the individual that claimed it did not want anything on it so i just went ahead and did a fourth coat on top of it it would have been fine with three total um but yeah that that's it you can go ahead and mix the epoxy and apply it live if you want to keep going i don't have any plans thank you so i have received lots and lots and lots of inquiries on how you can order this cup as of an hour ago it is live on our website shopwithwilkins.com go to build your own tumbler or at the top you can search for dragon skin <laughs> um this is the only one i have prepped so everything else that's on my turners are spinning right now and then another one i have a decal i need to print for um but anyways search dragon skin on the website or go to build your own tumbler and scroll down until you see dragon skin you can order it now in all of the different sizes of cups that we carry i will let you know now that i am about a week and a half out on beginning new orders so um when orders come in it goes in line and i do them as they come in uh you will receive a tracking email with the tracking number once it is boxed up um my goal is to get you your orders i'm gonna just hit this with the light one more time before we put the epoxy on it um my goal is to get all orders out the door within two weeks at the latest that's okay i'm gonna upload this to youtube once we're done here i'm just i, I got the light here doing another cure with it rolling around and then we're gonna mix the epoxy and put it on. Does anybody have any questions about it? I promise it is like, I know it looks crazy, but it's a really simple process and a really fun technique that you can switch up every time with different color micas. You don't even have to use a color shift mica. Um, you could use plain colored micas. Thank you. Uh, also, I have done this before where I put just the plain UV epoxy on there, then do the bubbles, and then I will use like a nice fluffy brush and apply the micas directly onto the bubbles afterwards instead of mixing it in with the UV. But I like adding everything in first and having that glitter chunks in the base coat. Um sweet kid i will be uploading this to my youtube channel after we're done here on the live with thorough step-by-step -step directions basically we put everything that we're mixing into it, the uv resin in strips we blow bubbles out of a cup put the bubbles on and then we cure it here with the uv light i would have to say that a good 80% of my work comes from customer requests. Uh, so that leaves me with just about 20% of things, of like me just creating things because I want to try something out or I have a tutorial I need to do for one of my affiliate companies. Um, I Honestly, I'm going to give it a little spritz of alcohol and that is it. If you want to rinse it off in water, you can. I haven't had any problems with just giving it a little, little alcohol spurt. Um, my brain stopped. What was, hang on, let me, let me scroll up here. Decals. Okay. Uh, if I need something, I will print it myself. Otherwise, my go-to decal provider is alanasgiftshop.com. It's A-L-A-N-A-S giftshop.com. She you can find her here on TikTok. She's on Instagram as well. Are you going to bed? Oh, it is your bedtime. Well, I love you, sister. 
Hi, Jess. I just saw your name pop up. What are we in here? Maybe just like maybe 20 minutes and a lot of it was just me rambling. Okay, well, um, you know what? I am going to go ahead and hop off here because I am going to put on my respirator so I can mix up this epoxy and you will not be able to understand me with the respirator on. Um, but shoot me a message, send me an email, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, here on TikTok. I am on all of the social medias except for Twitter. So that is it. You guys have a good evening and thanks for watching. Bye.